Welcome to e know -how. In this video, we will look at uh, energy stored in a capacitor and energy stored in an inductor. <clears throat> so, let's take a RC circuit initially. So, we'll have an R and we have a C. And then we have a switch S1 and we will close it across a voltage source V. So this is the switch S1, we will close it. <coughs> and so we know that there is a current that flows into this circuit, with, which is a function of time. And what it does is it will charge the capacitor to the full voltage V of the power supply. <coughs> so we know that at after a few time constants, say 5 or 6 time constants, the voltage across the capacitor would reach V and I of T would become 0. Say I of, say I of 5 time constants is approximately equal to 0 and V of 5 time constants, I'll write, write a small t, 5 time constants is approximately equal to V. So we know the, <coughs> the final condition. So now let's see, uh, then we will try to see what the power is. So this power is a function of time here. So P of t can be written as I of t <coughs> multiplied by V of t. So and we know that I of t is C d v c of t over dt and this is basically v c of t v c of t <coughs> so this is p of t so now what we do is we take the dt towards the side and then uh, we will integrate so we will have p of t so dt, we will integrate 0 to t is say basically 6 time constants tc. So <coughs> that will be equal to integral of 0 to, we know the final voltage is v. So c vc of t d vc of t. So this would be the power multiplied by the time is energy. The energy stored in the capacitor would be, if you integrate this side, it would be half C Vc of t whole square, the limits is 0 to V. <clears throat> so now if you write this, the energy would be half C V square. So this is the energy in stored in a capacitor. Half C V square. So this is once you establish the voltage V across the capacitor. So once the voltage V is established across the capacitor, the energy stored in that capacitor is half C V square. <clears throat> now let's look at the inductor. So let's take an RL circuit again. So we have a, we could use a current source but I still like to use a voltage source. So now we have a voltage source. We have an R and we have an L here. R and a switch S1 that's closed at time t equal to 0. So now we know the conditions what happens is initially all the voltage is dropped across the inductor and once the inductor stores the, stores the energy in a magnetic field and there is a current established in this and after that the voltage across the inductor will drop to 0. So the VL after say 5 time constants so is approximately equal to 0 but the I L of T 
I L of t when t is say five time constants will be approximately equal to v over r. So that is the current that is established in this circuit. So now let's write the equation for this, the power for this circuit. P of t is I of t V L of t. V can write V as I of t L d i of t over d t. This is p of t. Now what we will do is the same thing. We'll take the d t onto this side and integrate both the sides. So <clears throat> what we get is integral p of t d t from zero to say <clears throat> t is five time constants will be equal to <coughs> L integral 0 to, we know that the final value of the current is V over R. So we put that in there. <coughs> I of T, DI of T. So now if you integrate both the sides, we get the energy stored in an inductor. EI <coughs> is half L I of t square, then you integrate it from 0 to v over r. So we call it this v over r, let's call this v over r as capital I, I L. <coughs> so which would be half L I L square. So this is the energy stored in an inductor in a magnetic field is half L I L square. <clears throat> so we saw that the energy stored in a capacitor is half C V square and the energy stored in an inductor is half L I L square and I L is basically what is the steady state current flowing after the voltage across the inductor has dropped to zero. So that is the, these are the equations for energy stored in capacitor and energy stored in an inductor. <coughs> half CV square, half LI square.